Hello everyone, this video is a Resident Evil Village knife only walkthrough. The intention of this tutorial guide is to help you get the knives out achievement or trophy. The description for that is not include in some boss fights, finish the story using nothing but close combat weapons. I'm going to be doing this run in the style of new game, which means I'm not going to be using any unlockables, but I've heard you can use the Karambit knife or the LZ Answerer, which is essentially the lightsaber you can unlock from the bonus content shop. If you do buy those, go to the Duke at the castle the first time you meet him, and you can get those weapons from him, and apparently you can still get the achievement if you do that. I don't want to do that, I just want to do it new game, just in case some of you haven't got those unlocked items, and you're looking for a guide that you can follow just using Ethan's standard knife. I'm also doing this run on the casual difficulty again to make it as easy as possible to follow. Hopefully it helps some of you out. Let me know in the comment section if you found this guide useful. Also if you're looking for more Resident Evil Village guides you can find those linked in the description and at the end of this video. If you want to show some extra support to me you can always come and follow me over at twitch.tv slash iframes where I put these kind of guides together or if you just want to put some extra hair on your chest you can find the link for that linked down in the pinned comment below this video. Thank you all very much for tuning into this video. Let's get this going. All right, skipping these cutscenes then. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she Skip this one too. So you kind of have to watch a few seconds of these cutscenes. Did you say something? Nothing. So I'll put her down. Let's turn it around and go up the stairs. Yeet the baby into the crib. Let's do it. Come on, Rose. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Let's get you to sleep. All right. So. This room down here. Almost there, honey. Is the one we're heading for. We're almost there, honey. Let's go and put the baby down. Another cutscene to there skip you here. Go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. Skip, skip, skip. Alright, so back downstairs to Mia then. Back the way we came. And spinning around the banister. And some more cutscenes to skip. Bunch of those in this intro. First few minutes of the game. I probably mentioned this in the uh, intro to this video, but a lot of people tend to skip intros and just get into the game. So it's probably a good idea to mention it here. I'm using the, uh, the normal knife that the game gives you that you find in the village. And that does less damage than some of the unlockable knives. If you feel like it, you can use those other knives. You have the Karambit knife and I think the lightsaber as well. You can use those if you want to. To get the achievement. At least that's what I've heard. I haven't done that myself. I got the achievement just using the normal knife. I like to do things new game. And the reason for that is because if I'm using unlockables, there will usually be someone who is trying to look at these guides who doesn't have the points to unlock those knives, or doesn't have those knives unlocked, or whatever items that New Game Plus has. So I feel like it's fairer to use no unlockables, New Game situation. It's not that difficult on the casual difficulty. Again, I probably mentioned this in the intro, but I'll go ahead and say it again here. This is on the casual difficulty. It's kind of a bit of a ball ache repeating yourself, but like I said, people tend to skip intros. And this is why you should listen to intros, because they kind of explain stuff. You damn intro skippers. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But seriously, if you do want to use those items, that's up to you. I'm pretty sure you'll get your achievement if you use the lightsaber or the karambit knife. But I'm just going to use the normal kitchen knife which does less damage, but uh, it can get the job done still. There's a couple of instances in uh, this playthrough where you kind of have to use a gun. From what I've heard, you can use guns if you want to. Uh, you just can't damage enemies with them, so you can, you know, like, shoot treasures down from walls, and there's a, there's a puzzle or two where you need to use the gun to solve the puzzle. That's up to you. I use the knife 
as much as possible and avoid using the gun everywhere I can in this run. I think there's like two or three instances where I have to use the gun. This section is very straightforward. I'm sure you all know it by now. We'll go into this wardrobe and then we just need to turn around and leave the house. It's a good time for me to like lay some stuff out and tell you about what's going on. Also, I wanted to say that at one point during this run, I accidentally shot an enemy and I had to restart basically I had to go back to my last auto save and I was worried that in doing that I wouldn't get my achievement or trophy but yeah I used my auto save and I still got my trophy so if any of you do shoot an enemy by mistake quickly pause it and go ahead and load up your latest auto save and you'll be good to go what did all this Kind of a force of habit in some areas. I just whip out the gun and shoot. But let's go. I'm kind of glad they did a knife-only achievement for this game. I feel like the knife-only runs are kind of like a staple of Resident Evil. It's something that has pretty much been done on every Resident Evil game. And only a couple Where of them the have had achievements tied to it. I'm pretty sure Resident Evil 7 didn't. <laughs> Also, if you're looking for a guide for getting through the game, not using heels and the speedrun achievement and all that good stuff, I've got a guide out for that. I should be have I should have a few guides out for this game for anybody who's interested in them. So when you reach this point, you want to go left. This is kind of where you might start needing some direction in the game, just in case you get a bit lost. I'm guessing that most people might know the route for this now. Um, and you might just need help with a boss or something what like happened? that. But here's the main objective with the knife only run. Stick them with the pointy end. Stabby, stab, stab. That's pretty much it. And a couple of slashes too. And this is where we get our trusty knife. There we go. Stab some of that. I think I let the first enemy grab me by mistake. I should have thrown up my guard, so make sure when you skip uh, this next cutscene after you check this dead body out, make sure you use your guard. I think I ended up letting him grab me, I should have thrown up my guard. But it's fine. On this difficulty, you can take a lot of damage. But just try and get past him, heal, and get out of my way. Take your time, bud. There we go. Come back here and get the bolt cutters. There we go. And he'll leave after you've got the bolt cutters. He'll just leave you alone. So we're going to open up the gate using those bolt cutters. And then we need to go into this house. Oh dear. And then up here you can find the pistol bullets. You want to grab those to start this scenario. There's a chem fluid on the floor as well. You can use meds in this run. Now we have a knife fight. After this guy tries to grab you, just start slashing at him, throw up your guard, let him go for the attack, and then slash away. Managed to get a grab on me there. Fights do take a while with this knife, but it's doable. Just keep slashing at him. I don't know how this knife manages to survive this entire game. But there's another bite. He's doing that damage. Stab, stab. So we need to kill that guy in order to continue with the next part of the game. Right. Is it over? So you kind of just need to run out the clock in this next area and just stay alive. There's some cheeky tactics you can use to get through it. I've got a herb in that crate there. Go ahead and grab that. Come in here. You've got a shotgun. It's kind of weird to pick up. There we go. Another herb in the corner. So you can close, you can barricade off this area if you want to. I don't like to do that though, because I kind of loop around and keep coming back here. To kill some time. Dropping down here, you've got some scrap in these corners. There we go. So you can kind of hang out down here and just kill some time. 
the lichens that are like outside the holes in the wall won't come in but sometimes they'll drop down uh, to my right basically down the ladder hole but I like to hang out in here for as long as I can usually a lichen will come in and that's kind of your cue to leave so we're just sort of hanging out waiting for that Take your time, game. Take your time. There's no end to them. Yeah, I think I hear one to my right that might be coming in. I'm not sure if he slashes me or something. Alright, let's go. So I'll come up here and smash open this crate, get the ammo, look out for this guy. Try and get past him. And then we'll run around into this building. Close the door. More ammo in there. Obviously, we don't need this ammo, but uh, you can sell it to Duke. So if you get on the ladder in this building, the enemies can't hit you. And again, you can just kill more time. Just sort of hanging out. Usually, I'd do some fighting in this area, but it's kind of difficult with the knife. It takes like a good 10 slashes. I think with the Karambit knife, it takes like two hits to kill a Lycan. And I'm guessing with the lightsaber, it kills a lot of the standard enemies in like one hit on this difficulty. I honestly haven't tried. Haven't unlocked the lightsaber yet. A couple of guides I'm going to be doing after this are No Damage, Village of Shadows, and uh, the Mercenaries as well. I'm not sure if I'll do collectibles for this game. Maybe in the future at some point I will, but definitely I want to do a no damage standard run, and then I'll do Village a Village of Shadows as well. Village of Shadows is really, really difficult, and I feel like Capcom wanted you to do that mode um, with unlockable items, like infinite ammo stuff, you know? But that's up to you. I like to do my stuff new game. I have already beaten Village of Shadows, but I was kind of just learning the run a little bit. Certain bosses take multiple attempts to beat. They are very, very difficult. But I would recommend trying to get an infinite ammo weapon. Possibly an infinite, yeah, infinite ammo um, magnum. I forget what it's called. I think it begins with an S. Not sure if it's a spark or something. There's also the rocket pistol, but the rocket pistol really isn't that powerful. Although, you can buy the rocket pistol straight up as infinite ammo. I think you might have to beat Village of Shadows to get it. I can't quite remember, but uh, the magnum is very, very useful. Either way, just having a gun that has infinite ammo for that difficulty could prove really, really useful. So in this building, we've got some bullets and some gunpowder that I didn't grab on our first pass through. Don't need them, like I said, but you can always sell them to Duke. One thing you might want to do throughout this run is... Oh, look at that guy. Cheeky bugger. Waiting for me. I don't think we've got a lot left here. We've ran out of the clock for the most part, I think. Just keep avoiding the enemies running around in circles, trying your best to stay alive. That's kind of what I do here. The big boy has arrived. So I'm not sure if... Someone might have to let me know, actually, if you've done it already. I haven't killed this guy in the village yet. Although I know that's an achievement. Uh, or trophy. The achievement description, though, says defeat Arias in the village. I'm not sure if you beat him here if you have to fight him in the stronghold, because he shows up in the stronghold, right? I'm guessing it's probably quicker to kill him in the stronghold. I honestly don't know. I feel like it'd be kind of difficult to kill him here, though. Unless you have some sort of infinite ammo weapon. But do you even... Hmm, maybe if you get the shotgun or something? Because a lot of the time you have to get the infinite ammo weapons off the merchant, so I don't know if maybe you 
unlock that, you can defeat him in the village. There we go. Skip that cutscene. So one thing I'm going to be doing throughout this run is uh, funneling all of the money I get into my revolver. Because I do have the revolver unlocked. I won't be using it to fight anything, but I, the to get it infinite ammo, you need to fully upgrade it. So I'm just going to be putting all the money I get during this run into that revolver. If you want to do the same, if you've already got the revolver and you want to get infinite ammo for it, you need to fully upgrade it in order to get the infinite ammo. So, or and I think there are other infinite ammo weapons that are the same too. If there's a certain weapon you want, you might want to look uh, into what the requirements are to get it infinite ammo. So that you can just put your money into it, even if you're not going to use it, you know. Might take a couple of playthroughs in order for you to get it done. Alright, so... Very straightforward on the route so far. You can go and grab the Maiden Crest from the church, but I just leave it until the way back. Right here, we're just opening up the door. Okay. Lots of cutscenes to skip. Let's go ahead and skip this cutscene. And we just wait in here. For this chick to open the door for us. Take your time, take your time. This way. How about you get out of my way? You can kind of make her teleport here a little bit. You might see it. Boop. Right there. Another cutscene to skip. Let this guy grab you. Another cutscene to skip. Right, so head right. Come around through the house. And there's some shotgun shells here. And the truck key is right there. We need to examine it. And get the screwdriver out of it. There we go. Go back to the truck then. And use the truck key on the truck. Straightforward stuff. Skip the cutscene, accelerate, skip the cutscene again. Don't worry, I'm trying not to breathe in the smoke. And I know. we're just following the stairs up here. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> Alright, mate. Another cutscene to skip, she's dead. Let's just, go around the hole. Don't get it. Right here. Jump through the window, skip the cutscene. Lots of cutscenes yeah. in the beginning of the game. So use the screwdriver you just found on the little shrine here to get the demon crest there we go, go through the gate skip the cutscene and we're going back towards the little charge to get um, the maiden crest so all the way back here Dead. Yes. Dead has visited them all. there we go so this run took me about, I think, just under three hours. Let's go ahead and put these crests into the wall here. I'm again, I'm sure you know what you're doing. Straightforward stuff. Uh, yeah, just under three hours for this run. I'm sure you can get it a lot lower using the more powerful close combat weapons. But I wanted to but blood and death. Huh? torture myself. With the little kitchen knife. Let's keep going. Come around here and interact with the switch that's on your left. Well, well. Well, well. The man is of no real use to anyone else. And my daughters do so love entertaining foreigners. Uh. Furthermore, I can assure you... More cutscenes to skip. When you get control, just start running forward. Ah, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Ethan. Okay, swinging the left here. Smashing open this barricade. Dropping down here. When you reach Arias, you'll have a little cutscene skip. There we go. Again, I'm not sure if he shows up there if you've beat him up in the village. So, interacting with the barricade. Ducking through the crawl space. Head into your right heel. Run forward to get the spiky beams to drop down. And then go to the back corner here and just stand there. 
Donna and Moreau entertain. So now it's time for the beautiful, blood soaked grand finale. <laughs> All right, mate, relax. Nothing like fresh American ground beef. <laughs> Right. Too close. Wait, do those freaks have Rose? Maybe they do. Alright, you got some money there you can pick up from one of the boxes. I'm not sure if the other box has anything else in it. But now that you're done there, let's crouch here through this. Yeah, I forgot to appear offline on Steam, so if you see Steam notifications in the bottom right, that's why. Okay. Back to the switch then. Interact him with that. So a lot of the time with these runs, I uh, commentate them separately. I do them on stream. I record them on stream, but then I'll come back and commentate them separately. I think for the next couple of runs I'm going to do though, I probably won't do that. It's kind of, maybe for Village of Shadows I will, but it's kind of difficult to, you know, spend a good few hours recording stuff on stream and then come back and if record commentary over it Windows it's a little bit painful now here's something i haven't seen before so right here i'm just selling my shotgun shells to duke any treasures that i have um the handgun ammo i have a bunch of i do keep one stack of handgun ammo because like i said you do need to shoot a few things throughout the game but i just wanted to buy uh my magnum there what was it called i didn't get to see what it was called Either way, yeah, I wanted to get that by a med as well because I have like one of the DLCs. I can get a free med here, but there's more than power? enough meds throughout the game for you to survive. I sold in the shotgun so that I can go ahead and start getting myself upgrades. But uh, I don't have enough money, even for the first one yet, because they're very expensive for that gun. All right. Heading into the castle then. Could Rose be here? All right. So once you've come in, you've got some vases you can smash. We need to come down here into the main room and interact with this door. Then the vampire sleuths will come and grab us. Skip the cutscene. And then once you get control again, look up and to the right and interact with the hook in order to get yourself down. So any damage that you've taken before this point, Ethan will heal now because he uses a med during this cutscene. You can't skip this animation cutscene, whatever it is. But you'll see that Ethan uses a med and any time that Ethan uses a med in the cutscene, you'll go back up to full health, which is nice. Um... Also, there is a, an achievement or trophy tied to be in the game. Use, I think it's four. You can use four meds throughout the entire run. Um, if you're looking for a guide for that, I have got one up. You may have already followed it, but it is there if you want to go and follow that guide. I think I did uh, no meds. No deaths, no saves, no shop items, no shop at all. I didn't use the shop at all. And uh, under three hours is the achievement for this game, I believe. Grab the ring from the door there, and that should give you enough time to come back and grab the scrap that's on that box before this door fully opens, giving you time just to go grab it and you're not really wasting any time because you're kind of just standing around by that door. So come through that door and then head to your left up the stairs, all the way up these stairs, and uh, once you get up here, you'll want to head around this way. And when you get here, you'll need to examine the ring and get the stone out of it. Smashing that vase first, of course. So examine that, get the stone out. Back out of the menus, use the stone with the door. And then the door will open. So you'll get attacked by <laughs> Vampire Sloot number one. Skip the cutscene, come back into the door where you just opened and around this way, and, and then watch. interact with the barricade the here to get into the wall, drop down. I feel like this mansion they live in is lacking a handyman, you know what I mean? There's a lot of, like, just boarded up holes in walls and stuff like that, and crawl spaces that probably need repairing, but... 
they don't seem to care. There's also a lot of rats. But whatever. Alright, let's keep moving. Down into the cellar then. There's a box here on the side you can break up with shotgun shells in there sometimes, but I just got lay. Right, so we need to move this flaming dangly thing. Chandelier, I guess, into the uh, other flammable things to open up the doorway in front of you. And then we're going to follow around the cells here. There's a few crates in the cells if you want to grab them to get yourself some money and some pickups. It's up to you. Like I said, I just pretty much sell everything to Duke that I get. And if you're getting rusty scrap and metal scrap, you can make ammo and just sell it back to Duke for a profit. There we go. Sorted. Take all of that. Right, so right here I like to come out of the cell and just let those few guys come towards you. And then when you go back into the cell, you've only got one guy to run around, so it makes it nice and easy. Throw your guard up around these guys. Try to get that one near the door's attention and bring him towards you. And then you can just run around and come up the stairs nice and easy. Right here, I'm going to slash this box, grab whatever's, uh, whatever's in it, and then we can just run around here to get past Vampire Sloot number one. Come up these stairs. On your left here, you've got some shotty shells if you want them. There's a chem fluid on this barrel, and let's interact with the barricade here. Skip that, and get a knife in! Be ready to throw your guard up also. You can kind of stun lock the sloots. Just by keep just by continuously slashing them, you know. Slash slash. Slash slash. Time to die. Yes, like this. It can totally be. There you go. There you go. She's dead. And you can grab her treasure if you want to to sell the Duke. Entirely up to you. Thank you. Alright, off we go then. So right here we've got the wine bottle we need. Grab you some of that. And... Scrap right there, box right here. Sorted. Head to your left, through here. And we're actually going back into the castle. We need to go up the stairs into the wine room. So here we go. All the way up into the wine room. And use the wine bottle right there. Grab the chem fluid before the door opens. And uh, you can open this box, grab the gunpowder behind you, and then get the courtyard key that's in the box. Off we go then. Head down the stairs. And we're going towards the door we just came through. So it's this way. Get ready to throw your guard up when you get near the door. And just squeeze past vampire salute number two. And use the courtyard key. Head directly opposite you. And I think it's to your right. I know I'm calling them vampire sleuths, by the way. There's going to be someone in the comment section like, Her name is actually... Like, and I'm, I'm, I hope you realize that I'm just joking. I know they have names. I just don't care to learn them. All right. They will forever be vampire sleuths to me. All right. Open up the vase. Grab the handgun ammo. Come all the way around here. Head through the door and uh, interact with the statues. Turn this one to the right, turn this one to the left, and then turn this one to the right to solve the puzzle here. Whilst the pool's draining, head out here and go to this chest of drawers. Grab yourself the handgun ammo that's in the top left drawer, and then come back here, and you can do that before the door opens. Making use of your downtime. And we're heading into the... Uh, 
flooded with blood cellar, I guess. So right here, be ready to throw up your guard. Because we're not using guns, you've just kind of got to walk into these guys and push them back. So just follow this path around. Uh, there's a guy that pops up here, be ready to guard. It's kind of difficult to get past these guys. You can stab them if you want to stun them and get them out of your way. Always just trying really hard to get past him. There we go. Got another box here to smash. Sniper ammo. Let's keep guarding. Let me pass, bud. Let me pass. Come on. You know you want to. I think I ended up having to stab this guy. Excuse me. There we go. Get out of my way. Ah, oh, got grabbed by this guy. Move it. Alright, handgun ammo right there. Let's go ahead. And head up the elevator. Okay. So, hopping over the gap here. Hop in the wall. Skip in the cutscene. We're gonna go inside this room on our left, grab the key that's on your immediate left as you come into the room, use the key on the door. When it's finished unlocking, you can skip this cutscene, head out of this cell and into the next one. You've got a box here you can smash for some money, and we're going to crawl through the crawl space. Alright, so we have to have a little face-off with Lady D here. Let's open up the switch, or the, sorry, this gate using the switch. And um, when you get your hand severed here, you're pretty much taken down to really low health. And if you get hit by anything, you go into like flashing red. You will I kind of have a bad habit me. of getting hit by her. So I kind of give her the run around around this pill pillar that's to your right as you spawn up here. And then you can head back to the back of this area, grab your hand, the jack in it hand and finish pulling the switch. Problem is, you've got to wait for the gate to open. So one thing you can do here is try to give her the runaround on the pillar. If you just keep your distance and go around the pillar, you can <laughs> avoid taking a hit there. Although I tend to unluckily get hit a lot by her at that point. Thing is though, when she hits you, she kind of just stands there for a few seconds on this difficulty. So that gives you a nice opportunity to escape. And we're just going through the gate to the left, down the hallway, and then down these stairs to get to the doorway here. We need to use the Dimitrescu key. The Dimitrescu, however you want to pronounce it. Grab the max. Um, the ma I, I cannot do it today. The mask. <laughs> and Ethan will use a med heal. There you go. Get your hand back, mate. Now you can safely jack it. Good times. So yeah, like I mentioned before, if you want to come and watch me put these runs together live, twitch.tv slash iframes is where it goes down. That's where the magic happens. Uh, come on over. I play a bunch of games over there. If you like watching, if you would like to watch me learn these kind of runs. That's where it happens. Alright, so... We're going through this door right now. Use the Demetres key again. And up the stairs, through the door that's on your left. And we're going this way to our left. Watch out for this enemy standing right here. All the way down. And we need to use the piano. Solve the little note puzzle. There we go. Get it done. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab the iron insignia key. Unlock this door. When you come up here, you want to be quick about it because Dimitrescu is going to spawn. Run past her. Use the key on the door. If you want to, you can go back through the piano room. But uh, we're just going to run through here. Smash the vase in the corner. Interact with the switch here. 
and start slabbing, uh, slabbing, <laughs> stabbing vampire sloot number two. Stab, stab. You really want to kill me? Yeah. You can't be serious. You'll kill me. I mean, mate, are you not trying to kill me? You're like coming at me with sickles and stuff. All right, now I need to go and pull the switch again to let the cold in. A dream. This is a dream. No, this is a knife. Come back here. Nah. Okay, I gotta go and pull the switch again. There we go. Put those arms down. No. Too bad. There are some handgun bullets in this room as well. Let's grab her torso. Thanks. Alright, and away we go. So, in here is another one of the masks. And then through here. So in this room, you have to use uh, a gun to solve this puzzle. It's the only way you can get it done. So we need to shoot the five bells. One's on the table in front of you, one's in the cogs. Right here. And come up the stairs to get the one on the chandelier. One through the window, right there. And another one is on top of the closet. I don't think I got that one yet, though. It's on top of the shelf. I was kind of looking around here like, which one? There it is. Okay. Back to my knife. Right then. Down here. To the right. Up the ladder. Okay. So once you get up here. Keep moving forward. Smash this box. Grab the money that's in it. So you can get the sniper rifle here. I don't really have the space for it. I was checking to see... If I had the space and if I could make some sort of slot for it in my inventory, but I don't think I can because it's uh, more spaces than we have. I think it's 12. You'll need to put the sniper rifle in your inventory, which is kind of a lot, but that's just the way it is. I pretty much just keep the revolver and the hand cannon, oh, the revolver and my pistol in my inventory throughout this run. Smashing these vases for a little bit of extra money. We're not going to kill these guys, we're just going to run past them, so let's get moving. Let's head to our right heel. Go around. And up here. And this way. Up the stairs. couple of vases here to smash again. And interact with the zip line. Grab the mask that's in front of you when you're done there. There we go. And uh, we're going to interact with the ladder and drop down here. And then go use the elevator to get out of this area. There we go. Alright, heading back to the castle then. We are back. Let's go ahead and smash this vase open. Stupid man thing! You won't live long! Try and get past Lady D here. And we're going to go to where you need to put the masks in and put the three masks we have. I think this one is the Mask of Sorrow. Uh, we don't have this mask yet. I always try and put a mask in it by mistake, but yeah, we don't have that mask. This one is the Mask of Rage, and this one is the Mask of Joy. 
and the Mask of Pleasure is the last one we need to go and get. It's a good idea to put those in uh, when you pass them there, because on the way back we'll only have one to put in and Lady D won't be able to catch up to us, so... Alright. So, we'll come into this door, which is the door we unlocked with the eye earlier, and put in the Demetres key into it, grabbing the mask here. There's a vase here you can smash with some handgun, handgun ammo in it. Up here on your left is some more scrap. Let's go up the stairs, and this is where we fight Vampire Sloot number three. So we've got some more ammo there. We need to pull this out of the way. So we need to use a pipe bomb here in order to break the wall. I was curious to see if you could smash the wall with your knife. Um, so I did slash it a couple of times, I think. But I don't think that's happening, mate. For some reason, whenever the vampire sleuths get close, I uh, get a lot of lag. I lose a lot of frames. It's something to do with the flies, I think. But either way. So I, I waited for her to get close to me in the corner over here and then chucked the pipe bomb so that I didn't do damage to her with the pipe bomb. Um, I feel like that's a good idea. I'm not sure if you hit her with the pipe bomb, if that cancels your achievement, you know what I'm saying? So just wait for her to be far away from the wall before you throw it. And then get to stabbing, to stab in good time. I'm here to kill entire families. Yeah, you die now. Come here. No. Yes. Oh. Man, that's gonna hurt. Stabby, stabby. There you go. Right. Grab yourself. The uh, mounted animal skull off the wall, examine it, turn it around, take the screw out, get the skull Pray sorted. Mama! And you might want to grab the treasure off her too. Crazy witch. Because she's dead. Cheers, mate. Alright, down we go. So, now that we're back here, use the animal skull okay. on the statue. I should be able to get out with these. And now. Let's head back and put the one animal, uh, the one mask we have into the statue. And we can leave. You can just run past Lady D there. Yeah, apparently so. Alright. Put that mask in. And eventually the door will open. You'll see a show up here and you'll see what I mean by a few had to put in all of the masks, she'd probably reach you. Okay. There we go. Up the stairs then. And uh, yeah, this fight takes a while. It's kind of what I want to say. Prepare to stab a lot. No, wasn't quite ready to skip that cutscene. Med items and ammo and stuff. And pretty much, you want to take the opportunity to stab her whenever you can. Run up close, get to slashing. This fight does take some time. Let me see how long it takes. I think it's like a good 10 15 minutes of the fight. But there are two phases to it. When you get close to her, she kind of does this thing where um, the mouth goes like bright red. And that's how you know she's going to charge. So when she does that, you kind of want to back off a little bit. Let her do a little charge. And then go back and get to stabbing. Very repetitive fight like this. But I am taking on a dragon vampire. 
with a kitchen knife. Just, just saying. Kind of bringing a knife to a dragon fight, I guess. But it's fine. She needs to die. Let's make it happen. Slashing, mate. There's kind of a. There's two different attacks you can do with a knife, right? There's like the pointy one where you hold aim basically and fire, and it'll sort of poke with the knife. And there's also the double slash that you see me do a lot. After spending a lot of time slashing with the knife, if you um, if you do the two stabs and then the poke, you can kind of do like a three combo and keep beating yourself. It's a little bit quicker. Also, there's a weird timing to it, but you can do the poke stab kind of repetitively fast if you tap left trigger and right trigger or right click and left click. Like a rhythm. You have to do it kind of in a weird rhythm, but you can essentially stab a lot faster if you do that. You'll see me doing it later in the run. I didn't really know about it here. Maybe it'll speed up this fight for you. Come here. Stab. Stab. I'd be interested to know how much damage each one of these little slashes does. I'm very surprised that this knife isn't breaking, you know. Saying that, if you focus on the same spot, man, you'd do some dirty damage to a creature like this. Eventually, hack a part of it off, I'm sure. I think I almost did this fight without taking damage, but she did end up hitting me a couple of times. One thing I'm kind of happy about is uh, the. Um, in Resident Evil 7, you kind of have that blood around the screen when you take damage. You don't get that in this game, which I kind of like. You kind of see this, it's like a pulsating red sort of vignette around the uh, around the corners of the screen. I prefer that a lot to the blood. Yeah, yeah. Someone must have told her a very funny joke because she laughs a lot. No entrails for you. Okay. Keep stabbing. She was already mine, mate. You weirdo. Saying that, it's a child. It's not exactly a possession, is it? But she is Ethan's kid. So you st you're a kidnapping cunt, really. These people are pretty delusional, aren't they? This is only on the easiest difficulty. I wonder if anyone's gonna manage to do like Village of Shadows knife only. That would be interesting to see. Because that difficulty is hard. Man.
Come on then. Behold my glorious wings. I surpass even mother. No. <laughs> no, you don't. Saying that, the final boss of this run is actually a lot easier. Oh, she's down. Get, get to stabbing. Extra stab points. Stab, stab. Stab, stab. Stab, stab. That vagina's got some serious teeth. See your ovaries. Fight is an absolute meme. I've got like a five inch kitchen knife. Can't really do anything when she's flying here, obviously. If you shoot her while she's in that state, she tends to get stunned and come back. Just have to wait out. Yeah, yeah. Here she comes. Stop. Stop, stop. Stop. I'll do a little rush attack, get back to stabbing. He's an angry, angry lady. I think it's getting close now to being done with this phase of the fight. Come on, stupid. Not a whole lot left, but then we've got a second phase of the fight, which also takes a minute. Yes! Oh, I want to see the terror in your eyes! Oh. Take your time, take your time. Oh! Yeah, there's me taking a hit. You coming or what? She's finding something really fun. Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop. So stupid. Here she comes. Just die now, please. It's about time you passed away. Right, more stabs. Get him in. Stab, stab. Just under twice in a row there. Let's go. how you do dragon dental work. Mate, will you just die? There we go. Oof. No flesh for you. Alright, so upstairs. All the way up. Stabs and heal. 
have all the places to go. Don't be shy. Show me your terror. Alright, this fight isn't actually... Oh, this part of the fight isn't actually that difficult. You kind of just need to... Either swing to the left or the right. Keep stabbing her. Keep your eyes on where she is. Oh. Keep stabbing. Oh, here she comes. When she does that charge, that's a good time to go in for a few slashes. Keep shanking, boys. Stab, stab. Come on. So close. So very close. There she can. Oh, stab him. Get back. Just die, woman. She's getting close now, so close, like a minute left of this fight. Just a couple more stuns, and she's done for. Freaking kitchen knife. I'll ask you again, will you kindly just pass away? Come on, it's time. You've had your moment in the spotlight. Oh, she don't like that. Stab, stab. Come on. Let's get it. There you go. There you go. Skip, skip. You're the one who's cursed. Sorted. So get your treasure from her, get the flask. And we'll be on our merry little way. Looks like I'm getting out of this place. Oh, right. So now we need to make our way back to the village. And go to that house with the red chimney. I think we need to go and speak to Duke first though. Let's go ahead and do that. You can get some fish here if you want it. If you want to get that speed upgrade, you can get a couple of fish in this area. Um, I'm not sure of the other areas of where you get fish, but that's one of them. Yeah, yeah, skip, skip. Grab yourself the key upgrade, or the key. And let's go. Come up here, use the switch. Let's get moving. Is this? Okay, let's head towards our boy Duke.
run past the lichens. No point fighting those guys. Alright, let's go and have a little conversation with our boy. Here we go, you can skip there this conversation. I had a feeling. Sorted. Welcome. So, like I said, I'm funneling money into that revolver. So I'm going to sell all the stuff I have here that I don't want, like ammo and whatnot. I keep one stack of ammo. Just for if I need to use it during puzzles or to shoot anything, you know. There are a few places throughout this run where you just have to use the gun. Shotgun ammo can go. Sniper ammo can go. There we go. Hand cannon oh, PZ. Beautiful even in death. That waistline. Yes. Alright. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is the most powerful gun. But I know it is powerful. Good day then. Good day. It takes a lot to get it upgraded, you know. Right. Okay then, off to the red chimney building. Right. So, coming up into this building, through this door, and uh, loud noises apparently. We need to open up this door and come to our left, no right, sorry, and then pull this barricade out of the way. We've got this guy hanging around here, there's a lichen on the right as you go through that door, but we're just going to ignore him and come up this way. Break the lock on this gate by knifing it. Go um, to your left. And the code here is 070408, I believe. Let's go ahead and punch that in. Sorted. Got the M19 there, whatever it is. And we're going to end up selling that to Duke. Grab yourself the jack handle as well. Give this guy kind of a wide buff and then head back the way he came. More lichens are going to try and jump you here, but just go straight to the jack and use the jack handle. And then stand in front of the tractor and try and crawl underneath. Okay. So once you're here, head right. And throw your guard up against this guy, because he will usually hit you as you try and run past him. Keep going. Just keep running down this way. Run around the big guy here and use the iron insignia key on the door. Go through, head up the ladder. And once you're up on this roof, drop down over here to your left and up the next ladder. Okay, once you're up here, you're going to want to go through the hole in the roof. Drop down, open up this box that's on the table and get the other part to the key that's in here. Go ahead and examine it in the right at the right angle to combine it with the key you already have, and then we can just turn around and leave. There is a lichen in this building, so don't take your time in there too much. Just be ready to leave once you've got the key sorted, and then head back over here towards the red gate where Duke is. And I think you have to have a quick conversation with him here, but essentially you just want to head to the door or through the door that's next to him. And that is over this way. Skip the cutscene after him telling you about the map and the treasures. And we're going to house, is it Benevento? Benevento? Something like that. Use the key. Open that up. Go through. And get moving. Right. Keep going then. Past the gravestones up to your right heel and follow the path to your left I got a little bit turned around there but you're following the path to your left to get to this bridge go across that keep it moving I'm gonna go and deal with the second boss and this is kind of an easy one don't really have to fight anything here Ethan. crack moments with Mia what? incoming Ethan come with me there's something I have to tell you Mia Okay. What's going on?
Let's keep following the path. Keep it going. Rose feels different. Ethan, you have to fix her. Out me way. What the hell is this? Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. I don't want to be alone. This can't be real. Alright, so... Keep going past the gravestones. And... Go ahead. Losing it? And use the family photo here. What's going on? And head to the elevator. So I told you guys that during this run I was trying to upgrade the hand cannon. Uh, because it's a very powerful weapon to get the infinite ammo, but it turns out that the stake is the most powerful weapon after looking into it. So if you're looking to get the most powerful weapon upgraded, you might want to go ahead and start upgrading that one, and that's probably what I'll start doing on my future runs, although it won't hurt to have the hand cannon upgraded also. Um, but yeah, I didn't know that at the time of doing this run, so I was putting my money into the wrong place, but that's okay. I'll eventually get the stake fully upgraded. If you're wondering how to get that gun, you basically get it with New Game Plus when you start a new game uh, from a previous save where you've beat the game. The stake is available from the, from Duke when you reach him. Okay, let's go. Let's keep moving. Through these doors, nothing to pick up in this house. A couple of puzzles for us to do, though. This area is pretty much just back and forth with puzzles. Head to the elevator here. In we go. Sorted. Alright. I feel like they could have done a little bit more with this boss. Some people really like it, some people really don't. I kind of don't like the baby part, but... Um, you know, to each their own. I just feel like... I feel like this area would have been more well-rounded if there was another phase to the boss fight. I feel like it would have been cool to have... I don't know, sort of a battle with Beneviento of some sort. They could have done a lot with it, I guess. I feel like the boss fight is actually really short-lived and... Kind of a little bit easy. I kind of feel like this, what? or Beneviento, was like the most interesting. Wait, where's my gun? L interesting looking character when you're introduced to the Lords, and they could have done a little bit more with it. So you need to examine the the uh, left shoulder here to get the silver key. Use it on the door really quick and just let it do its thing. Come back over here and interact with the right leg to get the winding key. I think I messed up on pulling this off here. I didn't hold it for long enough. Just gonna just stand in here. Touching the leg. There we go. Get that winding key then. And that's all you need to do with the mannequin for now. Head to the lock and type in 052. I think it's 052911. There you go. Head to the end of the corridor. We're basically going back the way we came to this door. Once that cracks open, go ahead. Get in there. Use the key, or the Why winding key, on the music box. There we go. This puzzle's fairly straightforward. You just need to switch around a few of these things. Look at the cracks. Fairly easy to figure out. That's a very complex little machine for like five notes or something. <laughs> okay. Let's head along this way. Head to your left. And now we have the tweezers. We need to get the film from the mannequin. So head around to the other side here and interact with the mannequin's mouth. Open it up. 
and use the tweezers to get the film out. There we go. So now that we have that, let's head out of here. Once again, back and forth. Right. Heading back towards where the elevator was and going through the door that's on the right here. Use the film with the projector. And the order you want these in is Teddy, Book, Rose, and then the Gift, and then the Ring. And fairly straightforward. Sorted. Okay. Right. So once that's played, the door will open. Or the bookcase will slide out of the way to reveal a door. Head through the opening. Go to your right, grab the scissors. Use the scissors on the bandages. And then move through the opening it creates. You don't have to answer the phone here. In one of my previous runs, I wasn't sure if you have to answer the phone or not. You don't have to, just come this way and open the door. And you need to wait. It's a sort of a, I don't know if it's uh, meant to be Mia that's walking away from you there, but you need to wait for her to walk away through the door before you can open it. Use the scissors on the bandages to reveal the breasts. Pull out the uh, circular breast plate, I guess, and grab the medallion. Come over here to the left through the door and use the medallion on the door. And then you want to move this across to the bird that's facing to the right and this one to the three shut eyes and that'll unlock the door for you head down the stairs towards the well and uh, we need to climb down the well to get the breaker box key so down we go I was trying here to see if you can like avoid climbing the ladder by like dropping down at an angle because you can do that with certain other ladders in the game but now I won't let you, you kind of have to use the ladder so turn it around, grab the key back up the ladder let's get going right okay back up the stairs let's get towards the breaker box Keep going, keep going. And head to your left here through the door. I think this is where the baby shows up. You need to get around it. So, when it sticks its head around the corner, turn around and go back to the room where the mannequin was. And we'll go ahead and wait on the other side of the table. Give him the jukes. comes. Yeah, yeah. Bah, 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 bah. So now we're going to head towards the uh, the breaker box. Now that we've avoided the baby. Alright. Use that key. Grab the child relief. Sweet. And through the door heel. We're coming back through the opening in the bookshelf, crouching through the hole here, and we're going to go and use the relief on the door that's on our left here. There we go. Angie's sort of chilling in the corner here, which I never noticed at the same time. If you look down into the right before you go through that door, you can see the doll sitting there. Kind of feel like it would be a good idea to give it a bit of a kick. But either way... Let's go over here and grab Fuse. And back towards the door. When you go back this way, the baby's going to show up again. You have to head through the kitchen first. There we go. 
There's the baby. Alright. So, head around to the far side of the bed and crouch under it. And we're going to wait for the baby to come in and go around the bed. There is a glitch you can do in this area where you can essentially avoid having to go under the bed. Um, but it's a little bit risky. You can get yourself killed. If you're just looking to get through, it doesn't really matter unless you, you know, you're going for super fast, speedy run times. There's also a new out of bounds glitch that people have found in the castle, which I heard about today, that allows you to skip, I think, the last vampire sloop fight and like messing with the masks and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. Save some time in the castle. All right. So now that that's done head through here back to the breaker box kind of cool that you can already get this game down to like an hour and a half but that's on new game plus with the upgraded weapons so heading back this way through the room where the mannequin was and we're going back to the breaker box now let's go and use the fuse i'm really curious to see what kind of skips people will find in this game but yeah, go ahead and use the fuse on the breaker box. It's really crazy how people find this stuff really fast. Um, I think to do it, you have to use a pipe bomb to like stun yourself and you knock yourself through a wall, essentially. So I don't think anything like that will be possible in an area like this where you haven't got any weapons. Angry baby. Yeah, yeah. Bye, baby. All right, let's go deal with Beneviento then. Here we are. Heading back through the house. So this section can be a little bit RNG. Angie can appear in different places. Um, so yeah, just be ready to search around a little bit. The first place is usually upstairs. I don't think I've ever seen it where she isn't upstairs first. So after skipping the cutscene, come up here and up the stairs. And she'll be in the room. To your right. Over here. Let's interact with the doll. Give it a stab. Fucking monster. <laughs> All right. So after this point, she can be in a couple of different spots. Um, you might want to follow the blood where you see it. I'll try and point out the last spot as I head towards it. But So she's around here, I think in the corner somewhere. There she is. That's one of her spots. <laughs> No, Rose isn't a demon child, just saying. So, over here and to the right is her other place, but also to the left, be like behind me right now. She can be around that corridor somewhere. Stab, stab. I don't know what you're laughing for, mate. You're dying. Stupid idiot! What are you doing to my cute friends? Stabbing them. Stab, stab, stab. So yeah, I kind of feel like another phase to that fight would have been cool. You know? So that's who was behind all this. That so there's a cheeky flask. Also, if you want some more money, grab the Angie doll from the the floor right there. If you turn around, you can grab the doll and, and sell it to uh, Duke for some money. I left it behind by accident, but that's up to you. So that's two flasks, uh, flasks down, two more to go. Let's head back the way we came then. Now we'll go and deal with Moreau. This fight is a little bit of a meme also with the knife, my little kitchen blade. Let's keep it going. His section really isn't all that long, but uh, he's next. He will feel the wrath of my knife. I'm ready to get it done. So all the way down. 
getting sorted. Let's go. Back the way we came then. On the way back there are some enemies that spawn up, so be careful of them along the way. Heading to your right heel. Boxes to smash. Got some sniper ammo there. Another box right ahead of us. I think this one just has money in it. Oh, it was ammo that time. Okay, cool. Okay, so to your right when you go through that archway. I tried to come up here and see if I could find the shotgun. Because I'm fairly sure the shotgun is in this area somewhere. The upgraded or the new one. Because I was going to try and sell it. Um, you can also get a key to one of the houses in the village. Some explosive rounds there also. But yeah, this is where the ball thing is. I think the shotgun is through one of the other gates somewhere around here. I'm fairly sure it is here somewhere though. Okay. On our merry little way then. Let's keep moving. Right. So, heading to your left here gets you an extra item in this box. It was just lay for me this time, but sometimes it can be shotgun shells as well. Watch out for this guy. I'm trying to squeeze past him, he managed to get a slash on me. As they're coming out of the floor, they sort of swing their sickles around and, and does damage to you. But, apart from that, you should be good. Let's keep moving. We're going to the door that's opposite us right now to get to Moreau's area. Let's go. I think I used the wrong key there. Yeah, because I picked up Luther's key. There we go. Off we go. Then we get attacked by the werewolf heel. So if you want to be a little bit safer here, you can go up the ladder to your left and over the roof. But I just pretty much ran out and ran past the werewolf lichen, whatever it is. We kept moving. I'm pretty sure he got a slash on me because I was knifing the barrier to get through it. Let's get stabbing. Yeah, there he is. Leave me alone, bud. I've got stuff to do. There we go. Also, if you want to go and get the grenade launcher to sell it, it is in this area. I think I grab it later to sell to Duke. Um, but I'm not too worried about it for now because obviously we're not using those weapons. Let's knife up the barrier then to get through here. There we go. And we're climbing all the way up. Let's go. Right, so let's go down the stairs here. Keep following to the right, down some more stairs, right again. And to the elevator. Okay. So yeah, getting to Moreau here doesn't really take that long. I feel like the last two bosses really don't take a long time to get done. Heisenberg, on the other hand, takes a minute because you've got to go through the Lycan stronghold, um, which takes some time. Take a right heel and then follow the tracks on the floor to your left. Keep going. And around here, you've got to take a little turn. Left up some stairs. Little U-turn here, and here we go, we're in Moreau. So, give it a few seconds, and then you can skip the cutscene here. Pick up the flask, skip the cutscene again, and then you can start heading out of this area. Damn freak! All right, round here down the stairs. Back through this way and to your right. To your left here. And take a U-turn to go up these stairs. Take a left at the top of the stairs. Of here? And can knife this barrier to bring it down. There's a couple of those in a minute we have to shoot. But uh, you can knife that one, so why not? So, right here there's a bunch of lichens that spawn up when you grab the key. There's also one right here that you pretty much walk past. If you just step into the cabin and grab the key, and then back out, you'll be good just to get away without getting hit by anyone. And you can just head back to the ladder. Nice and easy. Get some handgun ammo out of that barrel. Why not? Let's get going then. 
Now that we've got the key, let's head to the boat. Take a right heel down the stairs and just head towards the light. And we've got to follow this path around to go and get to the boat. <laughs> Alright. So, here we go, use the boat key, and let's get out of here. Sorted. Head into the caves. So you've got that sort of section where you've got to avoid Moreau in his fish form. Cross the bridges and stuff. Takes a minute to get done. What was that? But, uh, yeah. Very doable. The fight with him isn't actually that difficult. You'd think it would be tough with the knife. On this difficulty, he kind of just seems to sit around not doing much. Interact with the curtain here and then skip the cutscene and get moving along the pier as soon as you gain control. Keep moving, keep moving. Hop across the gap here. And what am I supposed to drop down the ledge and go to your right? Through the door. He said the exit's on the floor. Through here to your left. Okay. So we're going up towards our left here. And we need to just go down into the mill. We need to retrieve the new crank because this one just breaks when you try to use it. So through the door, down here, face plant, head around and uh, through this door, over the rooftop here and then to your right, across the floating bridge. And we can knife this barrier to bring it down. There is one in a second we need to use the gun for. There goes Moroi. Across the floating bridge when he goes past. And... Wait here for him to go past. I'm pretty sure you have to wait there. Let's get moving. And use the knife on this first barrier. But you're going to have to shoot the second one. Which is right there. No way to knife that one. Okay, so across the platforms. And up here to the right. And push the box off the ledge and then once that's done head down to your left drop off Damn. here pull the switch uh, stinks I imagine it does it looks like it stinks sorted all right so pull the switch there get ready to move across these bridges pull the switch and then that one, so that the bridges don't fall down. You need to make sure you pull these next three switches fast. I'm pretty sure I messed up and decided to just wait it out because I kind of missed the blue one. So I just waited. Make sure you pull them very quickly. So one, two, three. And then get moving. Be ready to pull the orange switch on this part of the bridge. You need to make sure you pull that so the bridges don't sink as you go across them. There goes my roll. Alright, so right here he's going to jump out. You just need to make sure you're not walking across the floating platforms when he comes out or he'll eat you. Wait here for the uh, the fish man to show himself. Come back onto the floating platforms. When he jumps up again, just come back here and wait. You can make it to the stairs over there before he reaches you, but better safe than sorry. Just wait it out until he's gone. And then come along this way. Head to your left heel. And we need to push the box off the ledge. There we go. Keep moving. Smash the barrel. And we'll go up the stairs right heel. And then push this box off the ledge and drop down to go across it. There we go. Up the stairs on your right. Smash the barrel. We got this barrier to break. Right, sorted. Up the ladder. And then we gotta pull this switch that's on our right. Use the zip line. Oh no, not a zip line, sorry. Drop onto the boat, my bad. 
now that you're on the boat. Shank the barrier here. And head into the mill and climb up the ladder. You'll need to break the padlock. You can slash it with the knife if you like. I'm pretty sure you're allowed to use the gun to shoot stuff like that. Um, as long as you don't damage enemies with the any guns, you're fine. There's a couple of areas where you kind of have to do that, but apart from that... So, let's use the crank. Or grab the crank and then come over here to examine this ladder and then go back and use the crank. So, up the ladder then, once that's cranked, and use the zip line. Down we go. Okay, so we need to use the crank here. I think I used the wrong item there. Okay. So, back towards the puzzle here. And uh, I like to work from the bottom and just turn these two blue on the bottom right in the middle one there. And follow along the puzzle from that point. Although you can just try and get the green boxes filled. Got it. Right. So, boss fight time. Let's get slashing. Right. So, we've got an upgrade for the M19 here we can grab. So once he spawns in, run to the back of this area and wait for him to do his little puke attack. I guess I gotta do this. And then you can push up and get to slash it. He kind of stands around a lot during this fight. If you see him come out to puke again, just run away and keep your distance. But on this difficulty, he does kind of just stand around quite a bit and just do nothing. So it just gives you every opportunity to slap him up. Slash, slash. So when he hits you, he kind of does that thing where he pokes out for a second. And gets cheeky with you. Giving you an opportunity to slash him a bunch. Oh, managed to get a hit on me there. So yeah, this is another one of those 
repetitive fight where you just gotta keep smashing. There are explosive barrels in the area, and I'm not sure if you can use them to damage him, but like if you knife them. But at the same time, I'm not sure if that counts as like damage with another weapon, you know, so I just kept stabbing. So if you see the poke that I'm doing on him right here, if you kind of wait for the knife to come back to Ethan's body and just tap, aim, and fire, you kind of speed up the, uh, the amount you knife him. Pretty sure I demonstrate what I'm talking about in a minute after this fight. But yeah, this fight really doesn't take as long as Lady D did. Just keep poking him. Stab, stab. <laughs> uh, this brings a whole new meaning to the phrase, I've got you like a fish. There we go, he's going through. Well, I think he's gone through his first phase now and he's going to go do the acid rain thing. If you want to use this opportunity to run around and grab some items, you can. Um, just position yourself in the right place before the acid rain comes, you know. So I think here I didn't have enough space to take this healing item, so I just ended up using a healing item and uh, grabbing the next one. Here we go. If you really want to, you can go to Duke after the fight, sell him your stuff, and then come back down here to grab the rest of the items if you want to. Or you can go to him before the fight. And make some space, because obviously we're not using any ammo during this run. We're just chilling. Alright. So grab yourself whatever you want here, or whatever you can carry gunpowder. I can't take the shotgun shells right now. Obviously they don't matter. Back to stabbing then. I think we're about halfway through the fight now. I was kind of worried about this barrel, so I didn't want to stab him in the face because I was worried I'd hit the barrel. And what are you laughing at, mate? You're the one getting shanked up. Yeah, I was experimenting with different ways to attack with the knife here. Trying to figure out the way to it. Not really sure what's faster. It seemed there I hit him like a few times a little bit quicker. We stunned up. Stabby stab. Keep stabbing him, mate. Oh, what are you laughing at, bud? Kind of got him cornered here. Yeah, you can see, like, the speed I'm stabbing him at right now. That's uh, a lot faster than you can... If you just hold aim and fire, it's a lot slower than that. Whereas if you kind of figure out the rhythm to it, and just tap aim and fire at the right time, you can stab a lot quicker and more consistently like this. But it's kind of like tap, aim and fire, and then wait for the knife to be sort of back towards Ethan's body. And you stab a lot quicker, mate. Look at it go. Stab. 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 Why do you hate? Because you smell. Alright, mate. Time to die. Use a med. He's got me up. Oh. 
Keep stabbing. This little shit kitchen knife. Versus well, this big fish demon monster. Die! Stab, stab. I feel like this guy's life is pain. It's so stupid, man. Uh, come here. I will stab you in the face. Uh, uh. Oh. He is not a happy boy. <laughs> He's pretty close now. Not a lot left to the fight. Like another minute or so. <laughs> a very stupid fight. Come on, bud. Time to die. He's getting very close now. A little bit more for you. I was kind of going for the three slash attack here. I was doing the double slash and the stab. Slash, slash, stab. Slash, slash, stab. <laughs> Stop picking on you. Slash, slash, stab. Oh, he's so close to dying. I can smell it. Come on. Oh, don't hit the barrel. Come on, mate. There we go. He's done for. In death All right. Was in life. Disgusting. Off we go. The exit's up ahead. And that's Moreau dealt with then. Sorted. <clears throat> Moving on to go and deal with Arias then. Which is on the way to Heisenberg. I got a barrel we can smash open here. We have to head to the left to get the key. You already have the flask. Sorted. Skip this cutscene. And right now we have to head back to the village. Let's go, and head, go ahead and use the key to open this door. And keep it going. <clears throat> right. All the way up the elevator. Stab, stab. Stab. See, that's me kind of demonstrating the speed between them. Like, that's the normal speed right there. And that's the fast speed. I'm not sure which is quicker to keep doing the slash attack or just to keep doing the poke, but either way, you know, it doesn't really matter. Alright. So, interact with the door. Down we go. Back to the village. We need to follow the signs now in order to make our way to Heisenberg. But we do have to deal with a bunch of Lycans and Arias as well. I think here I ended up going to get the grenade launcher, but I didn't have the space for it in my inventory. So I went back to Duke and sold some stuff and then came and grabbed the grenade launcher. Uh, yeah, because I don't need any of this ammo and... I've got a bunch of mines and pipe bombs that I'm just going to sell to him. I'm kind of gutted that I ended up 
selling or well no putting my money into uh the revolver in this run. I thought that was the most powerful weapon because my apologies. Uh, from yes, what I could I see you. find some quality ingredients and bring them to me. Yeah, yeah. From what I could see in the unlockable new game plus weapons, it looked to be the most powerful, but I didn't realize that you got the the stake magnum for starting a new game plus run because I haven't actually done a new game plus run. Everything I've done has been new games so far, which is kind of how I like to keep things a lot of the time. Buy bombs, everything I don't want. M19 I can sell to him, I'm keeping the Lemmy. This one's worth 25k, so why not? Um, let's go ahead and give him all the things. This yep. is Lord Moreau's? I suppose it's what they call the beauty of the grotesque. I managed to get another upgrade on it. I mean, still, this, the, you know, the hand cannon. Is pretty, Please come again. pretty damn powerful. And right here I was looking to see what you need to make the speed upgrade. And it's the finest fish and six finish? other fish. Are you sure you have everything? I need to look up where to find the finest fish. Someone was telling me yesterday in my uh, Twitch chat. But I'll have to have a look because I'm guessing that for speedruns, you'll want to get that, perhaps, but I also think it would be really useful for the Village of Shadows run, because there's certain bosses where you need to run away quickly and stuff. So I feel like it would be super useful to get that. If you could get it before Moreau, that would be great, because um, Moreau is a absolute meme on Village of Shadows. He is so difficult. Probably the most difficult boss in the game. Miranda is also pretty tough. But, uh, Moreau is just an absolute joke. Okay, so, moving on then. And, uh, I'm just gonna go and quickly sell the grenade launcher to Duke, and then we can be on our way. Shall I choose something for you? No. Just take this. And the explosive Hurry rounds also. Not. You can buy it back if you... Do let me know if you find anything else of value. And I also made some handgun ammo here to sell to him. Just thinking of ways to pass because I'm not the using time. it for anything else, you know. Extra monies. There we go. Little and often fills the purse, as they say. Sure, but yeah, I checked here if I could buy another upgrade, but I can't. So away we go. A good deal, if I say so myself. So I'm probably going to have to run through the game a couple of times to get all the upgrades for the stake, but that's fine. That's kind of just the way it goes. Right, so... Heading up here to the right. And through the door at the end. The six-winged key now. Six-winged unborn key. Let's go. Right. Right. All the way up. We gotta go through the Lycan Stronghold first, which is not too difficult. You just kind of keep moving. Be ready in this area to throw up your guard. Because Lycans will start dropping in everywhere. And Obviously, we can't stun them with anything but the knife. And we're just going to run past all of them. Just keep moving. Smash open whatever crates you would like to to get items to sell. That'll do. Let's get going. Watch out for the lichens, like I mentioned. There are a bunch of them. Here's another one. Excuse me. Out my way. Yep, yep. Thank you, thank you. Go, go, go. Let's come up the ladder there and pull the switch. We've got to pull both of these and then wait for the gate to open. So, the other one is right up here. If you want to wait up here as long as you can until the gate opens, that's fine. Let's go and smash this. Excuse me. Lots of them around. 
Okay. All right, to the stronghold then. More stuff for us to pick up here. There's another crate down there. Why not go and deal with that? There's also some scrap in that barrel if you want to grab it. There we go. All right, let's get going. Into the actual stronghold then. Again, lots this of lichens in this dead. area. Be ready to throw up your guard when they drop in your face because they will try and surprise you like that. Stops you from getting grabbed and getting stunned. All the way up here and around to use the zip line. Let's go. Sorted. Go, go, go. Right. Okay, big guy. Throw up your guard when these big guys drop in. I got hurt here, so I quickly threw on a med. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this yet, but if you use a med item and then as soon as it touches your hand, like as soon as you see the, the liquid touching your hand, if you throw up your guard. It cancels the rest of the animation, so you can just keep moving normally. Alright, some more metal scrap there. And, uh... We're gonna have to squeeze through the wall. We've got a fight coming up with Arias here that takes a little while to get done. He's a very tough enemy. Um, but guess what we gotta do? We gotta get stabby. I hope you're ready for it. And then we can move on to the factory. The factory's probably my least favorite area of the game. But it's fine. We'll get through it one way or another. Let's get moving. So all the way down. Here, once you drop off the ledge, the fight will start. Let's grab that ammo. Grab the med item that's there. Here he comes. Grab the pipe bombs. Just literally getting items before he drops in. I like to keep an eye on him before he jumps down. You can kind of tell which way he's going to go there. You know which way to move to get out of his way. And then get to stab him. He kind of hangs around a lot. Like when he jumps around. Get ready to throw up your guard from his attacks, because they are really powerful. Best place to stab him, I think, is either in the butt or in the right leg. In the nuts works, too. Oh, he's swinging it. Excuse me. He managed to hit me with that one. I didn't get my guard up in time. Stab, stab. Stab. Stabby stab. Okay. Alright, here he comes. He's gonna bring down a little lichen boyfriend. When he does this roar. And I just tend to avoid the little lichen. And if he's smart about it, you get him to drop on top of his friends, which is kind of funny. There's also a challenge tied to getting enemies to uh, kill other enemies. And I'm guessing this is the easiest way to do it, like with Arias. Because I've already done a bunch towards the challenge without even realizing it, and I'm guessing it's because of this fight. Stab, stab. Stabs in the leg. Stab. Stab. Extra stabs. All the stabs. <laughs> this is so stupid. We're about halfway through the fight now. Let's go for the leg. I used to be a Hagrid like you. And then I got stabbed in the knee a hundred times. How is his leg even still one piece? That's what I'm wondering. I would have cut your leg off by now, mate. Let's 
Psycho Stabber. And more health. Thank you. Back to stabbing. Here he comes with the pillar. I managed to just strafe around him here and avoid getting hit with the pillar. Stab, stab, stab. Managed to guard that one. Oh, we stunned him up a bit. <laughs> These fights are so stupid. Oh, God. The little kitchen knife. Bringing a knife to a hammer fight. I will stab you, good sir. Oh! Go on, kill your mate for me. Did you kill him? I think you killed him. There you go, good job. Thanks. I got some metal scrap for that too. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> it's so stupid. Going. Oh, so close now. So close, guys. Oh, this guy definitely does a lot of damage to you using all the meds. Not much longer now. Let's just keep on stabbing. Stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. That knee would be hanging off right now, mate. Just saying. He's very, very close to dying now. Are you ready to meet your maker, Arias? By the hands of the trusty kitchen knife. I hope so. Sorted. All right. Eat shit. Let's grab the treasure off him and get going. And uh, just like that, we're moving on to the factory. Let's get it done. Large crystal there. I don't think there's anything else in here to grab, but I knew there was a treasure there somewhere, so I was sort of scraping my face along the wall. All right. Flask there. Skip this cutscene. Let's get going. All right. Back in the boat then. And we're moving along. Right. Disembark at the dock here. Straightforward stuff. Oh. So I wanted to have a little look down here. You have got to go up the ladder there to continue. But I just wanted to see what was down here because I don't think I've ever looked. If I did, I think it was on my very first playthrough. Oh, there's a couple of items down here. There's bits of money and some shotgun shells. But also, if you come down here... Um, there's a bunch of enemies that spawn in. So it might be worth it on, like, standard difficulty to come down here, but on harder difficulties, it's probably not, just because... Yeah, there's, like, three of these guys you've got to get past, and they're right in the way. Let's run past that one, though. Still managed to slap me in the back. Cheeky git. Alright, let's head up the ladder here. And unlock the gate. Back in the village now. Let's go. I think I may have gone and visited uh, Duke here to sell him my treasures. Let's go ahead and use the iron insignia key to open this. Uh, 
and uh, I was a little bit turned around here. Like, where am I going? Oh yeah, this way. <laughs> Back towards the main area. Um, let's quickly go and see Duke. Right now we've got to use the flasks on the chalice to gain entrance to the factory. Um, kind of elaborate, an elaborate way to get to Heisenberg's place, but whatever. It's my greatest pleasure to see you return alive. Cheers, Duke. Ah, yes, yes. Yes, yes. There you go. Have some things. Sell him all the handgun ammo we have, except for like the eight spare ones I have there. Take it all. Destroys my soul a little bit to know this is all a waste of time, but never mind, it's fine. You might want to do the same with the steak. Oh, you've brought in something special. I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse me. I hate holding in my sneezes, but when I'm sitting in front of my computer like this, Thank you I don't particularly want to cover it with sneeze. All right. Let's go ahead and put the four flasks in. What was that? Okay, that's free. My flasks now. And there's flask number four. Sorted. Giant's chalice. What? Right, so... Now that we've got the chalice, let's head across the bridge here to go and use it and head to the factory. It's kind of a long area, but uh, let's just get it done. Let's get to it. I've got my gun out here, which is not under good look for this run. Let's go ahead and use the chalice here. Sorted. Down we go. Little cutscene we can skip. Let's go ahead and head down. Like I mentioned before, this area feels a bit out of place to me in this game but uh, it is what it is I guess okay let's go don't worry about the kid even it'll be fine ha! just get your ass across the bridge right let's ah, get to it Ethan Winters welcome I didn't think you'd make it past Daughter Moreau, but I suppose you survived worse back in America, hmm? I like you. I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. Oh, come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. Some gunpowder there. Let's head through this door. Follow the path around. And head to your right through this door. Interact with the curtain. Skip that cutscene. Skip this cutscene. And get running when you get control. Head to the right and through this window. Duck under the pipes. Keep moving forward, swing a left. And down the pipe here. It just kind of looks like fun. I feel like your legs will definitely be broken. What was that then? But even special. So right here was the area where I shot an enemy by mistake and then just hit my auto save. Uh, and I still got the achievement. So if that happens to you at any point, don't worry about it. I accidentally pressed my DPI button on my mouse right there, so I was a little bit turned around. Some of these platforms can be weird if they won't let you climb up them. Uh, 
go ahead and crouch in front of them. That kind of happened to me a couple of times. Doesn't always happen, but sometimes the, they just won't let you climb. So crouch in front of them and move forward and you'll climb up the platforms just fine. Run past those enemies, throw up your guard. You can smash this to get some bullets and we'll go in through this grate right here. Let's go. Up the ladder. And we're in the factory. We got a few levels to go up. Gotta grab these molds to get this, this stuff place done. Is messed up. I've got if you want a cheeky this. achievement, if you shoot one of the guys that's off the line right there, you get an achievement for that. But I've already done it, so I'm not worrying about that too much. Head through this door that's straight ahead of you. And follow the path around to your left here. Keep going forward. And there's a couple of enemies behind this door. Knife open the door. And there's two zombies, so I like to just bait them out here. And go ahead and get around them. If you want to knife them, that's fine too. If you want to kill those guys, they will be on your way, uh, in your way a little bit later. Um, it's up to you if you want to kill them with a knife or not. It does take a minute, but it's up to you. When you come back through this area to sort out the Heisenberg key, they are in your way, so... More zombies through this door. Again, get them to come out. Smash up these boxes. Get whatever you want out of them. Give yourself a little bit of space to run past these guys. And then head to your left. This way. Up the stairs. To your right. Run around these enemies. I like to give them a wide bath around those barrels. Manage to take a hit there. It's annoying, but never mind. Run around the guy in the chair. Grab the relief mold. Turn it around, head back, and then throw your guard up when you come back through the door. These guys are all going to be trying to smack you. You might need to swing your knife a little bit to stun one of them, and then you can just keep moving past them nice and easy. And then we're going to come back down here to the forge and put the relief mold in. There we go. wait for this to be done. Okay. Let's grab the relief of Seems a horse, useful. slap it in the wall. And get going up the stairs. So now we need to go and work towards getting, I think, the cog mold next. Drop down here, watch out for enemies. Be ready to throw your guard up in this area because yeah, there are zombies here or whatever you want to call them. So the way I time this is to wait for it to come down and then run. Once that's done, I like to stun that enemy before I run past this one. Same as this guy. This guy might get a hit on you, but again, wait for it to come down and then run forward. Stunning these guys up. There we go. Nice and easy. And up the ladder at the end. Sorted. Head through the grate that's straight ahead of you. There's some scrap on the side there. If you want to grab that. Okay. So, head into your left as you come through the grate. And unlock the door that's right here. Don't need to go through it yet, but it's a good idea to unlock it. And come down here, smash the crate. For some extra bullets. Keep going around. Up these stairs, we need to knife the door open here. Right, so in here we can get the cog mold sorted. And we can open up this door to get back to here. One of these guys is going to jump out and attack you now, so be ready for that. We need to actually go to your left through the door there to mold the cog, but I got ahead of myself and came here, so I needed to bait this guy back down and around. Just use this little box in the middle of the room to get around him, if that happens to you too, and come back in here and slap the cog mold into the forge. And now we just wait. Some more scrap on the table if you want it. Here he comes, Moody McGee. 
grab that cog and head back out of the door you came through. Go ahead and put that into the backup generator right here. And back down the stairs we came from originally. Head all the way around. Open up the cabinet in the back of this area to get an extra mine if you want to sell it. And then you can smash open some gunpowder there as well. Smash open this crate. Some more money. Run straight past this guy. Don't worry about him too much. Head to your right and follow the path around this way. Open up the crate for some more money. Head right here. Left up the stairs. All the way around. Keep going forward, and you've got a door, you've got a knife open right here. Go on. Run through the door when it opens. I managed to get knifed by this guy. Throw your guard up if you want to avoid getting hit there. Follow the path around here, and then keep going to the end and right up the stairs. All the way up and around. I'm not like my siblings. The guy's going to drop in here. You should have enough time to open up this door with a knife before he gets to you. There we go. Press the button. Nice and easy. These are the fruits of my power. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. So there is some gunpowder. You should have never refused me. Right there. All the way up. And in this area, I like to head to the right first to get this guy's attention. And then come around to the left. To the back here where you can open the door with the knife. It's open. Give him the little run around here. It's kind of an easy way to get around him. Head through the door. Head left to go under the pipes and avoid the propeller guy. Or the helicopter as I like to call him. And in this room, you can find some metal scrap right there, some rusty scrap there, and we're on to the second floor. You don't need to pull the switch for the elevator, you can just go straight for the ladder and keep moving up. Okay, so got head to your right. To go. We've got a long way to go. Keep moving around, head down the ladder here. And there's a crate you can smash for some extra money. I think I missed the turn here, but you want to go left through the opening. I was kind of like, wait, where am I going? Oh, yeah, this way. Miranda <laughs> thinks we're nothing but children. Oh, she doesn't care for us? No. She's long lost all her humanity. Just keep running through the mine shaft here. You can break down this bird cage if you like. We're just going for the vent in the back of this room. We don't need to fight anyone. Let's keep going. We have our trusty knife, that's all we need. Drop off the ledge right here. Keep moving forward. And you need to use the gun in this area to shoot out these lights. Another one of those areas where you're forced to use the gun, there's no way to knife those. So come all the way up, just make sure you don't shoot any enemies. You'll get attacked by two of the drill guys in a second. Another one? Yeah, another one, Ethan. So when you get to about here or so, you can shoot this one. And there's one more you can shoot when you get right up to the top. So, throw your guard up. I managed to get hit by this guy. I was probably a little bit late on my guard. But that's okay. God knows how you survive in that, mate. And shoot the other light out here. Sometimes these guys will... Uh, jump up to the ladder you're about to go up. You want to stand here for a few seconds for the fan to stop spinning. If you get to the ladder too early, you won't be able to climb it. So you want to hang out and wait for the fan to stop spinning and then you can come all the way up. And uh, you're good to go. Okay. So I'm stab the crate, grab the money. And let's go through this door. Swing it left and up the stairs. Then a little U-turn to go up these stairs. Get ready with your pistol here. You can pull it out while this thing's sucking you. 
through the air. Shoot it a couple of times to get it done with. Okay. Shit, that was close. So run along this way and drop down onto the pipe heel. Follow the pipe along. And there's a ladder on the other side that you need to climb up. There we go. And you need to turn the valve. Very nice. Okay. So once you've done that, come onto the elevator and press the button. Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your rose. Shut up, Heisenberg. If that happens, it's all over. For your kid, and for the whole village. But don't worry. I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. Alright, so in here you can find <laughs> the... Key, key, uh, mold? You're yeah, key the mold. only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Head up the ladder. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. And now we need to use the elevator to go down and mold the key. Go ahead and interact with the switch. So, we're going to the bottom floor, B4. We need to run past a bunch of enemies here in order to get the key molded. All the way down we go. Only a couple of boss fights left now. I think we've got to do Propeller Man, then Heisenberg, and then finally Miranda. Really not a lot left of the game. Uh, probably about another 30 or so minutes. 40 minutes, something like that, in total for us to get through. So well done if you've made it this far. So, you got some gunpowder here, throw your guard up against these guys. That guy managed to grab me, it's kind of annoying. Excuse me. Coming through, get a knife, no VR headset for you. Alright. So... Wait here for this guy to come down. Eventually he sort of does this attack where he like thrusts at you and you just want to run around him when he does that. Okay, down the stairs. Be ready for the zombies that are in this area. I'm not sure if one grabbed me or not. Just throw up your guards. Be ready. We got this guy right here. He is not happy. I managed to get my guard up and squeeze past him. Chuck the key mold into the forge. Just be ready for that guy to either come through the door, or when you go through the door, be ready for him to be in your face. Just get your guard up, so you can get past him. Key's nearly done. There we go. Someone managed to hit me there. Not sure if I've got any meds. No, I haven't, so I ended up crafting one here. I've got enough to make four, so I made a couple. There we go. And we're on our way. This guy smacked me in the door. I think he was just fully blocking the door here. I couldn't really do anything. Sort of sandwich between these two guys. I think I ended up stabbing him. Yeah, there we go. Got hit a bunch of times trying to get through that door, but it's fine. Alright, so we're on our way back. So right here, keep moving up the stairs. Don't stop running here. We're going to duck into the right. In this room, to avoid the big guy that's coming past us. Just stand in here. If you want, you can come and loot this cabinet. For some shotgun shells to sell to Duke. Um, but yeah, the big guy just strolls past the door. He doesn't even follow you. So be ready for the two normal zombies that are in this area again. Get that guard up if you need to. We've got another big guy right here. Um, we need to wait, him, wait for him to come into this area. Just giving these guys a good stab. See if I can clean them out. Before we try to avoid the big guy. Stab, stab. And there we go. Let's run around him. He managed to get a hit on me. Keep moving. There we go. 
on this difficulty you really can take a lot of damage, but just get around them. No point trying to fight the big guy with a knife, you know what I mean? And now we're going back up to B1 so that we can open the Heisenberg door. And then we've got to fight the propeller guy to get the factory out of the way, pretty much. But that is the majority of the factory done. Juke's here just chilling. How do you get around so quick, Juke? I'd be interested to know. Well, Alright. So I think here I sold him whatever stuff I wanted to. I think I, um, yeah, I also bought an extra couple of meds off him. Just so I've got enough to last me for the rest of the game. Got a couple of tough boss fights coming up and I just wanted to make sure I had plenty of meds. So let's go... Sell him all the ammo we have. I'm buying we this go. because of our relationship, you know. And you run our way. You find anything else of value. And use the key here. Sorted. And off we go. You really are. So in the room here that I just ran past, I think I'll go back to it because I'm, I'm pretty sure have? there's a couple of meds in it. Time to die. And some money as well. Got mine there. There we go, there's the meds. Sweet. Alright, let's go. So, through here, run around this corner and just wait. Run forward, get this guy to come in and wait right here. When he charges you, get out of his way. And we gotta stab him in the engine, Poopo. Stab. Yeah, it's more effective to do the, the stab here rather than the slash. This fight doesn't take too long. But, uh, yeah, you pretty much just got to keep getting him to run back and forward and keep stabbing him. Stab, stab, stab. There's the sniper ammo next to him. There he comes. Oh, he's big, mad. Be careful when he turns around. Um... Be ready to throw your guard up, because he will hit you when he turns around. Because he does turn around really quickly. Stab, stab, stab. Stabbing in the poop. Keep avoiding those charges. some more stabbing. Keep at it. Teach that engine arse a lesson. He managed to hit me there so I had to use a med. Here he comes. I'm sure this fight will be a lot easier with the lightsaber or the um or the is it Karambit? Karambit? Something like that. Keep getting behind him, doing as much damage as you can. This fight does take a little while, but we'll get it done. Duck behind walls when he does his fire thing. It's kind of annoying to uh, avoid sometimes. Here he comes. Stab, stab, stab. my way there. Couldn't quite get out of the way. The walls. <laughs> right there in my way. Alright, it's charge time. Slapping me with your propellers. Rude. 
stab. He's close to dying, I think. Oh, he's got a little bit more to go. Oh, God, he managed to hit me there. That's annoying. Where is he? I don't see him. There he is. Stab that engine pooper. Oh, he's charging up. Excuse me. Excuse me, propeller man. Can you die now? Freaking meme boss. Apparently this, uh... This boss has been, like, plagiarized from... Another book or something. I think there's a lawsuit about it. Or so I've heard. Yeah, he's pretty close. Not a whole lot left of this fight. Alright, here we go. He's coming. Stab. 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 All the stabs. Go up. Run away. Come on, mate. Yeah, I think this is it. This is very close to when he dies. Yeah, there we go. That's it for him. Let's get a treasure off him. Now stay down. For some extra monies. Yeah, bud. There we go. And uh, through the shutter that he opened, there's also a mine here you can grab if you want to get that. Right. Through this door on your right, but there is a cigar in this area you can grab as well to sell as a treasure. There we go. And we're on our way. Okay. So I drop down here and head towards the little ladder at the end. And across the crane. There's a switch on the end of this you want to press. So yeah, not a huge amount left at all now. Let's get it done. Alright. So head through the door that's straight ahead of you, and then to the door that's on your left. Little cutscene to skip here. Again? Head to the, uh... Vent grate. Crouch through to get through that. There we go. Pull this metal out of the way. Another cutscene to skip. And then we're getting on our... Rocket machine. And away we go. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight. I'm coming. Skip that cutscene. Right. So, let's go deal with Heisenberg. Get him out of the way. So, you don't have a choice here but to use the gun. Uh, I know this is a knife only run, but we can't use the chainsaw to kill him. The, the chainsaw can only be used as a guard, so you can't use that to kill him. Uh, however, when you get knocked out of the machine, you can use your knife to kill Big Metal Man Heisenberg at that point. You're like a goddamn cockroach! So get to shooting as soon as you gain control. Don't worry about using the gun, you'll we'll still get your achievement or trophy doing it this way. Keep shooting. Die. Oh. 
in the face of my steel glory! Guess I do have to thank that bitch for this. Shoot him in the red bits. That's what does the most damage. Hit him with the rocket whenever you can. Boom. It helps keep the distance from him. Really doesn't take that long to get him through this first phase. And when he starts moving into the middle like this is when you know he's, his first phase is done pretty much. So, once you gain control here, I like to run to the left side of him. Boulder punching asshole. I love that reference. And get to stab it. Took me a minute to figure out where to stand, but this kind of corner right here is a good place to get in and. Just keep stabbing him. We wouldn't think this works, but it totally works. I just thought this was really funny at the time. <laughs> this big Decepticon wannabe getting beat up with a knife. Time to die, mate. Stab, stab. This tiny little wheel as well. Like a really small wheel. Use that med if you need to. Loads of fun. This is pretty freaking hilarious. No, you're getting messed up by a kitchen knife, dude. You look like you could kill a building. This is basically a butter knife compared to you. Sort of standing inside him right now, it's weird. Keep on stabbing. Too bad I'm your only fan. Only fans? What? Weird. Stab stab. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> No. I really didn't think he was gonna die here, but he does. There you go. I'm still stabbing. some things. Got the Crystal Heisenberg there. Skip, skip. Right. Captain. More skipping. Got to wait for this Hunters. screen to actually to stop being black, though. Share your screen. And I'll go over the situation. My team and I were... Been a while since right. we fought together, Captain. 
So right here I put the knife on the slot for number one because it doesn't have a shortcut. And you don't want to use guns. Oh, I've also got to fight thanks to your recon, Arias again. Couldn't quite believe it when it's kind I of a weird fight. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. Spooky. All right, so we're running through the village here. You can Everyone watch for hostile stab up the enemies if you want. This knife is pretty powerful. Um, Make contact with the group I just tend to run past as much of it as I can. I think I tested out the knife here to see how powerful it was. You can see how much more powerful than the normal knife this is. Like a couple of stabs will kill people. Um, but to be honest, you can just run past everything. Like You don't really need to worry about fighting it. If you want to get them out of your way, you can give them a little love tap, you know? This knife does look like it does some damage. Don't worry about taking fights. You can just throw your guard up if you want to, but... I just did my best to keep moving. More ammo here. Not that you need it. Really all I want is the med item. Don't get penisy. I thought this was a cutscene, but it's not. So you get two of the big That's werewolves here, but just run past them. Let's Don't go. worry about it. If they get a slash on you, it's fine. Just keep moving. All the way down here. They'll stop chasing you, I think, once you reach this point. These guys are talking over each other. I'm just going to grab the ammo here. So we get definitely get the med item. It's pretty much all you need. And then come down here and through this door. You're going to have to get past two of these guys. Give one of them a little stab. Head this way. Tapped again. Just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Stab these guys. Excuse me. Coming through. Excuse me. Getting more stabs out of the way. That's right. Throw up that guard if you need to. Kind of a little bit of a mess, but that's fine. Stabbing away. Alright. Damn, this is big. Damn, this is big. Marking the target. Alright, so use the target locator. Beautiful. So be ready to stab some mofos when you do use the target locator again. It kills all the enemies that are still alive, so just do your best to defend yourself. We got lots of meds, so I'm not too worried about it. Here we go. Let's get to it. If you run over to the right, you can buy yourself a little bit more space if you need it to use the locator. I'll uh, kill any enemies that are left. We gotta do this one more time. Again, just kill any that get too close. I think for this one I ended up running over to the right to get this done. You can always stab them up if you really want to. It's up to you. Chris just taking it like a champ. Took that one's helmet off. Stab, stab, stab. Yeah, I think I, I got interrupted a couple of times here, so I tried to like run past them all. And just went over to the right. Yeah, here we go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. Rude. There we go. Everyone okay? They're coming from the mold. There's no Oop. Alright, and then. We're heading towards where the explosion happened. Cool. Kind of having a little look around right now. And uh, let's go down here. I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, Grab whatever you I want. The mold the village with the kind of just want the med injector. And, uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. So I'm not sure if you can use the target locator for this fight. I didn't. I'd recommend not doing it just in case it kicks you out of the achievement. But essentially what you want to do here is... Keep tagging this guy in the right knee leg area. 
I was trying to figure out where exactly we can hit him because his legs are armored. Uh, but you want to go for his right leg, I'm pretty sure. Well, no, his it's his left leg. Your right, his left. I'm gonna need backup. Yeah, you can't hit him in the back, which is his weak point. It's kind of annoying. Took me a minute to figure it out. Eventually. Yeah, there you go. About there or so. I was going for his knee at first, but if you aim a little bit higher than that and go for kind of like his thigh, you can get more damage on him, I think. You can also hit him in the hands. But yeah, this fight does take a minute. Just because he's very well armored. And he moves around a bunch. Kind of a stupid fight. But let's get it done. Definitely takes a few minutes. Stab, stab. Stab, stab. So like I mentioned before, I'm pretty sure you can use this knife, or well, this is the knife you can unlock from the bonus items menu. And you can use this knife throughout the entire run to make it a bit easier if you want. I didn't want to do that, I wanted to make it a new game run to give myself a little more of a challenge, but also just in case you haven't got the points to unlock this knife, you know, you can just follow my guide and do what I was doing. Stab, stab. To stabbing. Yeah, like I said, you can hit him in the hand there. Anywhere you see blood seems to be good. Took him down to a knee heel. Kept stabbing him. Surprised his leg is still in one piece. Just saying. This is one of the longer boss fights, definitely. Just die, mate. Still a while left. Get ready to guard when he's doing that jumping crap. I think I ended up healing once during this fight. Come on, bud. Oh. Swinging it. Yeah, nappy. <laughs> Such a stupid fight. This guy's got a big spiky mace ball and I'm here with a little carved knife. Little hook blade. Stab, stab. Few minutes left. We will decimate his thigh. Such a dumb fight. Most of the way through it now, though. Got him stunned here, so we can hit him a bunch. Die, damn it. Here he comes. Stab, stab. Five slashing expert. Put that on your CV, Chris. Almost done though. This fight is actually longer than the final boss fight. I guess usually you're supposed to do it with the target locator, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just die, mate. Just give it up. Yeah. 
stab, stab. He's getting pretty closer in the red now, though. I think I might use the med here. There we go. Can you kindly pass away, bud? I've got a game to finish. Stab, stab. Ugh. Oh, I think that's it for it. Finally. Hostile bio weapon eliminated. I'll keep going. The rest of you, stay yeah, above let's ground. Let's keep going. All right. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. Okay. I found it. So, it's the Mega My Seed. It's the Mega My Seed. Cutscene to skip here. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony. Let's get moving seat. forward. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but... We really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. This yeah. must be Miranda's lab. So come around here. Shoot the ore. Knife the padlock off. And interact with the door. Skip the cutscene. A couple of cutscenes here to skip. Another one. You gotta move forward a bit here before <laughs> the cutscene cool. kicks in. So let's get moving. I was actually surprised at how relatively easy the final boss fight was with the knife. Alright, skip the cutscene. Okay. Right. So. Another cutscene to skip here. You'll have to wait a couple of seconds, though. There we go. I gotta go. And we've got some items here to pick up. And I make one final trip to Duke, and sell him all my ammo and stuff. <clears throat> Let's go have a little chat. Hello, mate. Be sure you're prepared. I'm prepared. There you go. All the things that we don't need. Keep all my first aid meds. Get rid of all the handgun ammo, except for one little stack, and uh, shotgun ammo, snipe ammo, explosive rounds, and the mines. And there we go. Oh, the Buy a couple of upgrades for the hand cannon machine. here, but I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. Kind of feel like that was a waste of my time, but never mind. Still a powerful gun. <sighs> all right. Because of all this, please be well. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. See you later, mate. All right. So, uh, at the end of this fight, you do have to use a gun. So you want to make sure you've got a gun. That's kind of why I've kept the handgun throughout the whole run, you know what I mean? Because there are a couple of areas where you need it. Um, but yeah, you do need to use the gun at the end of this fight. There's no way to beat her just way. using the knife. You can completely finish her off with a knife, but there is one section where you need to use the gun. Um, and that doesn't void you out of your achievement or anything, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's go finish this up. Like I said before, I was quite surprised how easy this boss fight was with the knife. Skip this cutscene. Oh, let's get to it. Get to stabbing! You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamite. Now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you I'll provide her with true happiness. All right. So now you can die. That's the first phase you done. The there was like barely any stabs. Again, when she gets the spider legs up. Get ready to avoid this tack. Just run around. She'll usually miss. As soon as she's on the ground, get back to stabbing. 
Honestly, these phases don't take that long to go through. That's the second phase. Actually crazy how fast it is. This one's a little bit difficult um, to hit. You kind of need to get underneath her when she's doing this floaty shit. So I was kind of figuring out what to do here. I was like, is she going to come down to the floor? And she has these balls that usually you would shoot. Um... And I'm not sure if you can still shoot them, because technically you're not doing damage to her, you're just shooting them out of the way. But just because I didn't want to risk it, I just sort of left them alone and took the hits, guard up against them. They don't really do that much damage, but when she's doing this, you kind of just need to get underneath her. And that's how you can slash her. She does come to the floor sometimes. Um, but that's how I was managing to get hits on her in this state. Just get underneath, get to stabbing. Some long ass pubes you got there, mate. What you got? There she is. Don't think you can get underneath her at this point. Maybe when she comes closer to the floor. But I was just guarding against this attack. Get ready to get underneath and stab her a bit. Like I said, these forms don't take that long to get through. she is. Stab, stab. Sometimes during this form she seems to come to the floor to try and hit you with like a ground After pound all, attack. Everyone dies. Die More stabbing. Into the mega for all time. Get back here, you. So yeah, this is another attack you can't really do anything about. Just kind of need to guard against it. Just take it on the chin. And then go stabbing. This is kind of a tough form to deal with. You kind of need to hope that she uh, pops up now in front of your face. I think it's time you left things in my hands. Oh, rest now. The hell I will. I the hell will I will. Back to my daughter. All right. <laughs> die, 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 you die. die. Rude. I you kind of just need to wait for it to pop up and try and get a couple slashes on it, you know? That's pretty much all you can do. When she does this attack, just duck behind the uh, Megamycete trunks. Just to keep yourself shielded. A century. Why do you persist in this Alright. Get close, get stabs whenever you can. Too late, I'm already interfering. Heal up really quick. Why do you eat Surely you have no need of hers now. So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter, you psycho! Stab, stab. You still stab. Ugh. Getting slapped about. I've never seen a human live without his heart. Are you sure you're not? God damn it. Those four They could do nothing to assuage my years of loneliness. Fuck. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? Get back you're here. capable of real love. I will take back my daughter! Not a huge amount left of this fight now. Like a minute or two. Die, die, die! Here she die, comes. Die. Keep stabbing. Alright, mate. Don't Time to die. Stabs and slashes for days. Can you just die, bruv? I will see my hopes. Must trying to get this achievement, you know what I mean? 
She's close. I can smell it. There we go. So yeah, on this first part, you have to use your gun. I tried to stab her, but it just weren't happening. I just shoot her in the body. Yeah, I was trying. I really tried to stab. I was doing my best, but it's not a thing. At this point, you can stab her, though. After doing that bit, you can get stabby. Come on. Uh. Die. There we go. Sorted. Get absolutely wrecked by a kitchen knife. How'd you feel? Pretty terrible, I bet. All right. So let's skip these cutscenes. I think the t final time was like 2.58 or something like that. Um, might be a little bit less or longer. Let's see. No, 2.45. Not bad at all. Not, not bad at all. The video is probably a bit longer because uh, cutscenes don't count towards the final time. And uh, some of those you're just forced to watch, you know. But yeah, not a bad run. Hopefully that helps you get your knives out achievement or trophy. Maybe you got stuck somewhere or something. Or maybe you just wanted to watch. Either way, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate that. Let me know if, how you got on in the comment section. Um, also, if you want to see me put together these runs live, come on over to twitch.tv slash iframes. Or if you're just trying to put some hair on your chest, that also works. Have yourself a fantastic day, guys. Uh, if you would like to check out some more of my Resident Evil content, I'll link it around on screen. It'll also be in the description for you if you can't find it there. Have a great day, and until next time, take it easy.